Good evening and welcome to our second game for tonight. In this game we are seeing Rangel and Norths making their first run out for the season. Both teams seem to be missing a few players, so we're seeing the debuts of a lot of young guns out here tonight. I am joined by Matt Cook. Welcome back. Thanks, Hol. <laughs> Great to be back and, and really looking forward to this clash. Last year's runners-up in a thrilling grand final, Norths, up against a, a much-improved Rangeville outfit. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they go. They've got a really good base of, of young J1 players that have been pretty successful at a J1 level. Um, that are now stepping up and transitioning into into senior hockey tonight. Unfortunately, they're they're out. They're missing five or six with with COVID. Obviously, there's plenty of that about at the moment. So definitely um, under strength a little bit tonight. But I'm really looking forward to seeing the improvement and progression of Rangeville this season. And I'm really looking forward to to working with Bus Queensland, our new major partners for for this year's A1 competition. They've come on board this year for, for our major sponsor and it's wonderful how, to have them involved and really looking forward to, to seeing what they can do with, with hockey and, and combining and, and forming a really good partnership there. Thanks, Hull. And um, who are your players to watch tonight, Holly, in this clash? I believe that uh, Norths have a few new players coming out tonight that we haven't seen in a while, if I'm not mistaken. Not sure whether we've got them out there tonight. I'm sure uh, my under-15s team, if they're watching on, will say that I have to give a shout-out to co-coach out here, Campbell Coughlin. So hopefully he doesn't fall over again tonight. I've been giving him a bit of grief about his shoes recently. Yep, Coggy's, Coggy's always a strong performer, so. From a, from a North's perspective, a um, couple of key outs tonight in Liam Brown, who's injured his back, and, and Alex Hilton, their ever-reliable ever goalkeeper that's, that's unavailable this evening. But uh, good to see some young junior players given the opportunity. Good to see young Will Suey, Joey Sipple, hat on backwards Lindsay, Caleb Lindsay getting an opportunity, and Blakey Regan also stepping up into this A1 lineup. Still have plenty of experience and quality out there. Gooderham, Edwards, Glass, just to name a few. Micah Mathewson doing well in the midfield early. Harry Hughes also returning to Norse this year. Had, a, I think, a season in Tasmania. Uh, it'll be great to see him back. And then from a Rangel perspective tonight, a, a few outs, as we mentioned. Unfortunately, a bit of COVID's in their camp. Plus Tommy Campbell, who's off to 18 Nationals. Uh, but, yeah, Will Scorer obviously just commented on the previous post and should have put two and two together, and he's obviously out. Um, Damien Mori there. Their president this year, but also an A1 level player, along with Hamish Speed, are also out tonight. But that gives an opportunity to some youngsters. So Kai Hill, Jared Fry, stepping up from, from a junior perspective, and it'll be great to see them perform at an A1 level. Cal mccurley Alts also another young gun that's out there in the midfield tonight for Rangeville. And obviously the women are up on field too as well. So we'll endeavour to try and keep you posted there with the, any goal scorers or goals scored on field two. As we see Cal McCurley out with an early opportunity. Enters a circle, given a bit of space by Carter Mogg. And he missed the goal, but I think he missed the goal to the right side of the goal. And what I mean by that, he's missed to the far side, which gives an opportunity for a deflection on the post. Unfortunately, unable to get an early touch from a rangeful perspective. So Holly and I are also joined up here tonight by Jasper Flum, who is our ever-reliable videographer uh, filming tonight, and he's, he's also a very passionate Rangeville supporter. So if the camera shakes and stirs a little bit every time Rangeville nearly score a goal, you probably understand why. What's your tip tonight, Jasper? What's the score prediction, mate? Oh, 
It has to be Rainfall. I don't know by how many dollars, though. What about you, Holly? Stay loyal. What's your score prediction, Holly? I'm thinking with a few key players out tonight, it might be a bit close. I'm um, hoping we will see a few goals in this game, so I might go around 3-2. Not sure which way. I'll have to say Rangel or Jasper will get very mad at me. <laughs> well, Jack Hill just forcing that one, and Blakey Regan and Cardamore getting in a bit of a tangle. Carl Harlan, another experienced player on the ball now for Rangeville. Very solid player. Rangel certainly uh, having a couple of early opportunities or early circle penetrations. I think for me tonight, I, I think North probably will, will pip them. I, I'm, I'm going to go four goals to two. Hopefully, hoping to see plenty of goals, but we'll see what happens. We've also got two, two goalkeepers that are stepping up from A2 tonight. Both very experienced keepers and um, more than capable at this level in Mark Stevenson for, for Rangeville and, and Paul Woolhurst for, for North. But... Obviously, both clubs are missing their first choice goalkeepers, so could be some goals for me. Carl Harlan now. In, lost out there to Benny Edwards, very skillful player. Throws it forward. Jimmy Cunliffe, I think, with the man bun in the midfield for, for Norse, I think. In front of a very young back three at the moment. So Wills, Will Suey, I think it's Harry Hood and, and Blakey Regan at the at the back there for, for Norse. Chris Glass is on the bench at the moment. So tonight's umpire again is Corey Mogg, who's backing up for his second game this evening and joined by Nick Bidgood tonight. Nick had a pretty solid game previously with Red Lion and now doing his bit as an umpire. It's great to see plenty of players giving back in an umpiring capacity as well. Campbell Coughlin throwing into the pocket. Would you say he's a fan favourite, Holly, Campbell Coughlin? Amongst the under-15 girl groups, I would have to say so, but... If he were to ask, I'm definitely the favourite coach. And nice to see a couple of comments in uh, about the 50th anniversary jersey from Norse, as we mentioned in the previous game. Norse donning a new kit this year. It's their 50th season this year and, and recognising some of the retro kits. So tonight they're in the, the green and the white. Jared Fry and Blake Regan in a good contest there. Jared Fry and Jack Hill getting in a tangle though. Good strength from the youngster though. Held the ball up well. Chris Glass now entering the pitch. Carl Harlan now picks the ball up. Good to him. Goes over the top. Oh, Shawnee Collins loses his footing there. Unable to keep that one in play. Norse here with an early opportunity. Coglin defending well, getting low to the ground. Nice and strong in his tackles. Plays a 1-2. But a good interception from Norse. Benny Edwards with skill. Pops it to the T-spot. Opportunity. Simple. And a goal! Matty Tarlington! Just creeped in front of Carl Harland and the youngsters. Simple to Tarlington. Have done well there and put Norse one goal to nil. Norse are working their angles very well in that play, making sure that Ranger were getting flat footed and weren't on the right lines to make the intercepts.
Coglin on the ball. Mitchie Roberts unable to connect with Jared Fry. Ball into the pocket here. Opportunity for Norse. Good steal. Good save. And a free hit to the defence. Coglin throws the ball into the midfield. Free hit now to North. Cunliffe. Looking for Tarlington, just unable to connect there. Right idea. North really rolling their rotations early. Plenty of early quick substitutions. Coglin does well to eliminate one, throws it down. Just ran out of room though. Blakey Regan to Chris Glass. Glass looking for options. Got a great overhead. This time throws it to Carter Mogg. Bit of a loose pass there from Glass. Mogg unable to control it. North's trying to force the ball forward with their press. Got Tarlington hanging back, not allowing anything to go backwards. And they've managed to work the turnover. And Cal mccurley Alts just trapped that one with his body, but he's shaking it off well. I think his dad comes from a bit of a soccer background, so maybe a bit of a chest control. Yes. Good first touch, <laughs> bring it to feet. Shawnee Collins down the left, gets a touch but just loses out, loses a bit of control. Little Suey picks it up, finds Carter Mogg. Carter runs out of room but just wins a free hit there. And Will Suey will get us underway. Umpire Corey Mogg asking him to take it back though, repositioning the free hit. Great to see plenty of comments and plenty of viewers here. Thanks, Amy, for the, uh, the shout-out. Amy watching from Brisbane tonight. And plenty of viewers from all over the world, even overseas. We've got some viewers watching in tonight. So don't be afraid to leave a comment. We'd love to hear your score prediction here. And as the game progresses, we'd love to hear your vote for the Bus Queensland player of the match tonight and the young gun of the match tonight. As we see Kane Bradford steaming ahead, using his skill... Just loses out though. And a free hit to the defence. Good skills from Goodaham. Throws it forward. To Hood. Running the back line well, Tarlington. Slips it around the keeper. Just wide. Great run. Good ball movement from Norse. Getting some results down in that right-hand pocket. The goal came from that right-hand side and then another near miss. Coglin, loose pass, gives Carter Mogg an opportunity. And a great tackle there from Coglin to win the ball back. 
Throws it down the line to Jack Hill in a one-on-one. -on -one. Just a loose first touch from Hilly. Gave Blakey Regan an opportunity to knock it over the sideline. Callum McCurley old slips it through. Opportunity. A shot. Good save from the keeper. Free hit to the defence. Shout out to Jay Mogg who's uh, tuning in. I believe Jay, uh, Jay's getting uh, getting married on Sunday. He just just sent me a message. Said Cookie unable to uh, to make training on Sunday. I'm getting married. I was tempted to say, mate, I've heard some excuses in my time, but that's that's a new one. But uh, all the best to Jay on his big day on Sunday. And uh, Toowoomba Hockey's looked after you with the fixtures, mate, to give you the weekend off with, the, with past high having the bye this weekend. We sure that's what it was all about. Absolutely. Looking after our members. As we see Kane Bradford steaming through the midfield, using his speed, and he's got plenty of that. Just struggling to keep control of the ball, but it keeps, keeps possession. Looking for an option. Throws it into the midfield. Retains possession. Carl Harland assessing the options. Goes to Mitch Roberts on the left. Mitch goes all the way across to Shawnee Collins. And just like that, it's the end of the first quarter here with Norse leading one goal to nil over Rangeville. Thoughts on the first quarter there, Holly? I think we've seen some good attack coming from both teams. They're both looking to utilise their right pocket, which is a really good attacking opportunity. Um, when they're getting it to the pocket, though, just needing to string it together across the D and hopefully have some players in and around the cage to get the balls coming across. Absolutely. Well, we'll be back in about 90 seconds' time for action in the second quarter. Stay posted. Hey, guys. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an like a sparrow with broken wings But now I shine with your reflection on me I'm getting back up on my feet And welcome back to the second quarter here as Jack Hill gets us underway, finds Campbell Coglin. Coggy strong on the ball, able to see off the challenge of Edwards. Still under pressure though from Edwards, he's resilient. Wins a free hit though, strong on the ball, Coglin. Plenty of space on the help side. Sean Collins is looking for the overlap. Go direct, Chris Glass intercepts the ball well on the hotline. He's got a great eye, Glassy. Again, Norse looking to try and utilize the, the pocket, the right hand pocket.
Range will get us underway. Coglin unable to control that one. Loose turnover at the back from Rangeville. Inviting a little bit of pressure here from Norse. Will Sui to the top of the circle to Goodaham. Ball finds Hood. Tarlington just needed to trap that, play the percentage. Collins, back to Roberts. Mitchie Roberts, great clubman Mitchie Roberts, was out here this afternoon helping with our mini sticks program, which is our junior program for Toowoomba Hockey. Great tackle, Jack Hill stolen off Chris Glass. Jack Hill into the circle. Tight angle, Bradford looking for a deflection, but Chop Suey, Will Suey, well positioned to make the interception. Will Suey's been one of the big improvers in the off-season, worked really hard, attended plenty of trainings and started this year in really good form and ultimately he's been selected in the open men's representative side as a youngster. We'll get some great experience at that tournament playing against players from a very high level from all over Queensland. Absolutely. Rangeville now keeping the ball, throwing it into the midfield to Clark, to Coglin. Coglin just couldn't get on the same page as Bradford in the pocket. Sean Collins let it run, but Bradford wasn't quite there. Better signs though from range. We were able to keep the ball for a little bit longer, maintaining possession and questioning the defence. Norse now with their turn on the ball. Glass again looking for that right hand pocket. North's pushing in with a tight press. Coglin on the ball looking to throw it into the midfield but turnover. Cardamog. Great tackle from Mitchie Roberts. It's scrappy in the midfield. Jimmy Cunliffe, battle of the man buns there with Cunliffe against Collins. <laughs> we got a few, hair, a few different hairstyles tonight. We've got the man buns and then we've got the hat on backwards Lindsay in defence up against Kane Bradford at the moment. Happy birthday to, to Caleb. Had his 18th earlier this week. Jack Hill with a bit of a mullet as well. Pretty pretty rough haircut. Boys trying to start their own fashion magazine. Oh, Will Sui's been bold there, an opportunity here. Jack Hill throws it to his brother, but Kane Bradford will pick it up instead. To the top of the circle, Hill picks it up. Turns out on the forehand, shoots just wide. Had Paul Warhurst worried there. Edwards now on the ball. Great interception from Mitchie Roberts. And a goal up on field two. It appears to be Rangeville taking the lead. One goal to nil in the women's game. Coggy to Bradford. Bradford, great tackle by Carter Mogg. Caleb Lindsay bursting down on the right-hand side of the field. Chop Suey picks it up, finds him. The birthday boy, Lindsay. 
Good tackle though from Kai Hill. Lindsay again throws it to the baseline. Coglin being pressured. Charlie Jensen, it's a little bit of a loose turnover. Carter Mogg now with an opportunity. Cal McCurley out does well. Kane Bradford has space. Great ball from Bradford. Down to, to Jack Hill. He's on his own up front at the moment. Looks like four or five North players around him. Managed to find in the his, circle, oh, yeah. another player in the D. Find his brother. Very physical challenge though from Jack Hill. Knocked over Carter Moore, gives away a free hit, free hit. Wilson Love, those North jerseys are definitely different. Good to see Wilson tuning in. Unfortunately not playing this year. Gone out west, I believe, for some work. But uh, great to see him supporting Toowoomba Hockey. Hope you're well, mate. And another goal for, for Rangeville up on field two, I believe. Bang, bang. Cal McKelly out, under some pressure. Good skills. Well played from Cal to Cal Harland. Great steal from Chris Glass. Glass find Ed, finds Edwards out in front to Joey Sipple. Sipple just lost a bit of control there. He's been well positioned out on the right tonight, Sipple. He's been impressive, the youngster. Good to see Elka again tuning in. This time, this season relocated to Brisbane. So after many, many years working with Rangeville Hockey Club in Toowoomba, stepping away and moving, relocating to Brisbane. But Living good. her best life on Bribey Island. Yeah, good to see her uh, involved with hockey down there, but good to see her tuning in for Toowoomba. Kane Bradford just keeps it in play. It'll go out over the sideline. Cal McCurley out, does well to intercept in the midfield. Charge down off the stick. Oh, Sipple unable to connect with Tarlington. Tarlington's done well though. Great ball forward. Good touch from Rangeville. Carl Harlan now picks up the ball. Finds Bradford. Goes hard across the face. <laughs> Bradford's not happy with Hill there. He wanted him on the post and that's where it went. Can't let opportunities like that one go away. Absolutely. Again, in, in the cage, as you called from the previous game, Hull. Get in the cage. Charlie Jensen does enough to get a little touch. Carl Harlan. Wins the ball, Kane Bradford lets it play, lets it run on the sideline. Mitchie Roberts will take it in for Rangeville. Down the line they go. Jack Hill, Carter Mogg. Jack Hill wins a free hit into the circle. Bradford tees off. Forgot to take the ball though, Kano. Good to see him pulling him, uh, backing himself to pull the trigger though. And Norse have the ball on the right hand side of the field. Carter Mogg just loses out. Carl Harlan now has an opportunity. Bradford on the right, looks for him. 
Well defended though from Norse. Kynan Haddock, well played. Chris Glass just taking a bit of time off the clock. Throws it into Chop Suey. Angel is just hanging back from Darcy at the moment. Don't want to allow him to get an easy overhead. Yeah, it's a tricky one. Obviously, Rangel identified his aerial passing game as a, as a threat, but the more time and space they give him on the ball, the more time and time he has to analyse and, and then the strikers can manipulate the back four of, of Rangel to create space for him to throw overhead. So... On one hand, you, you do condense the midfield and the, and the defenders by falling away, but on the other hand, you're giving quality players time, time and space on the ball. Goodaham goes hard into the circle. North entering down the right-hand side. This time Coglin picks the ball up in defence, intercepts well, steaming forward using his speed. Does enough, wins a free hit. Good sportsmanship there from Benny Edwards helping him up. Not a lot of movement forward again. Charlie Jensen. Wins a free hit. Coglin throws it into the pocket to Kai Hill. But Will Sui well positioned again to intercept. And wins a free hit for his team. So Chris Glass now throws it across. To Haddock on the left. Hard down the line he goes to Matheson. Michael Matheson on the backhand. Throws it across the face. Oh, and Mark Stevenson just clears that into his own defender's leg. A little bit of a cheap short corner there for Norse. So Norse here looking to capitalise, currently leading, leading one goal to nil. Double battery set up. Very crowded top of the circle. Goodaham, Haddock, Mog, all looking like threats on the top of the circle. Goes to battery one, but a missed trap from Tarlington. Carter Mog recovers the ball, throws it into the circle. Benny Edwards, plenty of time, plenty of space. And he's put his shot wide. Plenty Trying of to utilise a bit of his indoor skills in that play. Mm. Absolutely. And Holly, tell, speaking of indoor, tell us about our recent Australian selections. Five Toowoomba athletes selected in the indoor squads? I believe five in the most frequent one, yes. So we've got good representation in our squads from the Opens division through the 21s and all the way down to the under 18s with uh, Will Reedy making his first Australian indoor squad there as well. So Will Reedy and Dylan Pemba. So Will Reedy under 18s, Dylan Pemba under 21s. Yes. And Josh McPaul, open men, senior men. Yes, making his debut in the Australian squad there as well. Nice. And, and there's also Ella White in the 21s group as well. For the women? And yourself? And myself, Just yes. Some... Can't forget that. Can't forget <laughs> that. I didn't, didn't do much at trials, sat on the sideline and filled up water bottles, but apparently <laughs> that was good enough for someone. <laughs> I'm sure you've got plenty of runs on the board with your previous performances. Yes, thankfully, must have performed well enough at the last few uh, training camps and testing dates that been able to maintain my position in that squad. That's fantastic, you know, for a tournament to have five Australian indoor reps. It's great for the 
for a small region, particularly indoors only only new in Toowoomba and we're still growing the game. So Very new in Toowoomba, yes. And we do quite well when we go away with our state tournaments. A lot of players who aren't um, typically indoor players giving it a go and doing a great job for the, for the team. So Hood now, oh Hughes, sorry, not Hood. Harry Hughes, my apologies. So Harry Hughes has been in Tasmania, I believe, last season. But great to see him back in Toowoomba. I'm sure with the type of weather we get out here on a Friday night, he'll not be missing Tassie much at all. <laughs> Carl Harlan just turns that one over. Good to him. Well done from Jack Hill, though, to win the ball back. Needs to keep possession. Strong on the ball. Out in front of Harlan, but just not quite quick enough to keep that in play. So Blakey Regan here. Blakey's an under-15 Toowoomba representative from last year and was selected in the Queensland under-16 development squad. He opts to go down the line. Nice overhead to Joey Sipple, another young gun. But unfortunately, the time beats the North's attackers then and unable to, to formulate an attack in time. And uh, the first half's flown by, hasn't it, Hall? Has flown by, yes. <laughs> so any observations from the first half? Any, any comments from your perspective? The two teams seem to be quite evenly matched at the moment, both managing to string a few passes together. We've probably seen a few more shots on goal from the North's team, Rangel missing the net. Uh, a few times, so it'll be an interesting second half to see which team comes back out and really dominates. Absolutely, that's for sure. Really interesting stuff here. North's one goal to nil over Rangeville. We'll be back in about four minutes' time for more action in the second half. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. Blessing me every day I was down with an illusion Like a sparrow with broken wings But now I shine with your reflection on me I'm getting back up on my feet Toowoomba Hockey Club, your club yeah, for your community. Toowoomba Hockey Club's the place where the excitement never stops. Hit the jackpot, Jack, you won't look back. You know they've got the light. Toowoomba Hockey Club. Go Hockey, get lucky. Toowoomba Hockey Club. Go Hockey, get lucky. Toowoomba Hockey Club. Go Hockey, get lucky. Toowoomba Hockey Club, Boundary Road, Toowoomba. Hey guys, my name's Jasper and I'm from Toowoomba Hockey. Did you know that the biggest sporting event in 2021 was the Olympic Games that were held in Tokyo? 
Hockey has been a part of the Olympics since 1908 and it's one of the main attractions at any of the Olympic Games. Now, I know this sounds really boring and you're probably looking at your teacher like, who's this guy? But in 2032, the Olympics will be going to Brisbane. Imagine having an Olympic Games that's just down the road. I know most of you are probably thinking, oh, I'm never going to be a part of an Olympic Games, but we've had nine people from Toowoomba compete for Australia at the Olympics. That means you could be lucky number 10. Hockey is a constantly growing sport and more and more people are deciding to give it a go in Toowoomba. Come and join the crowd. Here in Toowoomba we have a huge hockey culture. Players ranging from 5 all the way up to 85 compete for more than 100 teams across 5 different clubs. That means you can play, your siblings can play, your parents can play, even your teachers could give hockey a go. Probably don't want to, but they could if they did. So on Saturday the 19th of February, Toowoomba Hockey will be holding our annual Hockey Expo out at Club Glenvale from 12 until 3pm. This is one of the biggest events in Toowoomba's sporting calendar. There will be a jumping castle. We're back when you're ready. Welcome back guys, I hope you appreciated some of the uh, old ads. We had in the halftime show, a bit of a throwback to a 1990s Club Glenvale ad advertisement, but uh, shout out to all of those people who've been around long enough to remember it. <laughs> and uh, shout out to the, all the viewers tonight, and great to see some comments coming in. Karen, fantastic to see so many young players getting an opportunity tonight, and that's, that's the beauty of COVID, obviously. There are some positives to come out of it and, and it means that yes, there will be some players missing week in, week out, but it gives young players an opportunity and that's what we do really well in, in regional centres. We, uh, we give our young opportunities and, uh, and some of them have really stood up tonight, which has been great to see. Carl Harlan's missed that one though, an opportunity for Norths early on. That's a hard, hard shot from Zach Goodaham, clipping the top of the crossbar from a tight angle and heading over the back line. Lucky to get away with that one, Rangeville. So Harlan now on the ball, he goes over the top, into the pocket, Bradford in a foot race with Suey. Suey does well to hold him up. Great pressure applied by Suey, just making Bradford yeah. make the unforced error. A good lesson for some young defenders there, didn't have to rush in and over commit to, to make a steal, just ran a good line, protected the middle of the field and ultimately the attacker Turn the ball over. Hard uh, Tomahawk there and Kane Bradford's played a lot of cricket in his time just leg glance that off the toes four runs over the sideline Glass now on the ball Slaps to hat on backwards Lindsay picks the ball up Just runs into a little bit of trouble there but does enough finds Matheson does well to find Jimmy Cunliffe in the midfield Cunliffe to Edwards. Edwards recycles the ball <coughs> to Chris Glass. Glass to Chop Suey. Chop back to Glass. Keeping possession now. Finds Edwards on the left. Good receive on the move. Finds Lindsay on the T spot. Lindsay throws it back, but unable to get a result. Minchie Roberts cleans up. Wins a free hit. Great composure. <coughs> Tarlington just got a little bit of a bump then. I hope he's okay. Seems to be okay. Will Suey, great interception. Good ball into... 
Jimmy can leave. Chris Glass all the way back for North. To Sui. Sui back to Glass. Really maintaining and controlling possession. North at the moment. Glass down into the right hand pocket. Hughes across the face. Stevenson. Does enough there. Norse puts it on a foot. Wins a short corner. Had sustained possession for a long period and then give Chris Glass too much time and space. His overhead game will find someone. Created a short corner. North's creating a lot of layers in the D there as well. One of your favourite little <laughs> onion phrases. Yep. One of my new, my new phrases for the 2022 <laughs> season. Speaking about dividing the circle into different layers. And they certainly had some layers there in the circle and were able to, to get a good opportunity. Force a short corner. Go to him now with the corner. Well run though. Good running then from, ha uh, from Mitchy Roberts. Clipped his stick. Long corner here for Norse. Bit of chaos ball into the circle. Shawnee Collins does enough to intercept. Finds Cal McCurley ult. Just needs to play simple. Carl Harlan's being harassed but does well. Great ball to space. Turnover for Rangeville. Just gone out of play. So, Norris, get us underway now. Just a little delay finding a replacement ball, but Chris Glass picks the ball up, finds Goodaham. Goodaham, big overhead down, Carl Harland. Great chap. He's had some shoulder issues in the preseason, Carl. That's a good test then. Had to reach up above his, his head to retrieve that ball. And did well to, to keep it under control. Rangeville now. Go back and around. Mitchie Roberts over to Cal McCurley Alt on the right. He's isolated though. Doesn't have a connection in front of him. Goes back to Roberts. Moves the ball over to the left-hand side of the field. Shawnee Collins does well to pick the ball up. Being pressured from behind though. Great tackle from Carter Mogg. Joe Sipple just unable to control that. Mitchy Roberts steaming forward. Wins a free hit. Great tackle from Carl Harlan. Nice and low and strong. Wins a free hit. Opportunity now. Kane Bradford's got some space. He can use his speed, but Will Suey. Strength. And a great tackle from the youngster. Kane Bradford's probably one of the quickest blokes in, in Toowoomba A1, and, and Suey ran with him. Got a stick in and ultimately won a free hit. Well done from the youngster. And another goal up on field two. Rangeville appear to be pulling away with it in the women. Jack Hill just loses control. Kane Bradford recycles the ball to Harland. 
Harlan drills that into Joey Sipple's feet. Welcome to A grade, Joey. <laughs> Seems to uh, be okay, fortunately. I remember in my debut A grade game, playing in the Toowoomba Ipswich comp, popped a ball to the feet. Little 12 year old Holly went down crying. <laughs> Very painful. <laughs> And as we said before, it's uh, one of our strengths um, that we're able to give young players like yourself many years ago the opportunity <laughs> to, uh, to, to play senior hockey at a young age. And these guys would certainly benefit from this experience. A lot of these guys will filter down into the Toowoomba under 15 and under 18 development programs. And you know, playing against men and women every week gives our juniors a significant advantage and it's something we want to try and keep. Tarlings. Sorry, good ham on the ball. Carl Harlan does well. Opportunity now. Bradford needs to get into space. Just not connected there. Chris Glass is able to intercept. Now Tarlington now on the ball. Throws it down. 1-2, but unable to connect. But Jack Hill will pick the ball up. And Carter Morg. Opportunity now. Beats one. Beats two. Carter Morg in the circle. Heavy pressure, but he's forced a free hit. Good first touch into space from Roberts. Charlie Jensen's got plenty of time and space. He finds Bradford. Retains possession. Sean Collins with a lot of space on the right. Up to come back to the left. Three hit one in the midfield from Rangel's perspective. Throw it down, throws it down to Jack Hill. Beats one. Throws it in. Cal McCurley old shoots. And he's shot wide. Nice build up there from Rangeville. Just unable to, to get that final product, but plenty, plenty of promise. Chris Glass now on the ball. Goes up over the top to an overlapping Harry Hughes down the right-hand side. Just unable to control that. Suey, well positioned to intercept the ball. Throws it to Jimmy Cunliffe. Out to Harry Hughes, down the right. Cal McKelly out to Jack Hill. Great tackle. Jimmy Cunliffe. Wins a free hit. Jack Hill with a nearly a trademark hard, hard <laughs> challenge. <laughs> Doesn't uh, leave any prisoners. Will Sui on the ball. Back to Chris Glass, Move the, moving the ball quickly to Caleb Lindsay. Hat on backwards, Lindsay. Into the midfield. Jimmy Cunliffe has space in the circle now. Opportunity. Well defended. Opt to clear the ball. Will Sui will bring it back though. Back to Glass. Glass on the Tomahawk, straight to Jack Hill though. Opportunity though, just forcing the game a little bit there, Glassy. Bradford now plays in behind, if he can thread it through. Jack Hill, 
turns in field. working hard to get in front. Give him an option. Strike is just unable to connect there, but a, a nice counter attack. Blakey Regan, just unable to keep control of the ball. North now on the ball. Cardamog. Opportunity, great save from Mark Stevenson, but followed in. And Maddie Tarlington with a double. North had plenty of players around the box, making sure they were getting to the ball first off that rebound. Absolutely, and we spoke about the cage, and that was nearly in the cage. Nearly. The rebounder. They've obviously been listening to the commentary and learning a few things. Well, as we said last last year, over forty five thousand views on our on our live stream. So plenty of people do watch, and it's great to see. And as we touched on in the previous game, we uh, we want to try and make our live stream bigger and better this year. And we've we've put some money aside in the budget. As we see Norse with another opportunity, Tarlington just unable to get the hat trick there. But uh, as we were saying, we've put some money aside this year in the budget, so we want to try and make our live streaming bigger and better. So. If you're a, someone that can contribute and help with through videoing, any experience in videography or broadcasting, and anyone that might be able to assist with the commentary of these live streams, we'd love to hear from you. So get in contact with Toowoomba Hockey. You can get in contact by emailing coach at toowoombahockey.com.au. Uh, and these positions are paid positions. So um, we really want to try and take our live stream to the next level. And uh, we really want to try and utilize the great volunteers and the great community, I should say, that we have in Toowoomba um, to improve our broadcast. Big thank you to Holly, who's joined tonight and uh, adding some wonderful insight into the games. Yep, making a career change from teacher into commentary. I think it's definitely a market for a hole. I think uh, the, the amount of live streaming I'm seeing at the moment is, is nearly a hockey game every day if you, if you want to watch hockey around, and around the world. <laughs> Just a little bit of a, an injury concern, I think, from a rangeful perspective. Uh, Campbell Coughlin, one of their probably more experienced players, is uh, hasn't been on the field a great, a great deal and appears to have Got some ice on his knee, which is not a good sign for Campbell. Knee injuries are not fun, I can definitely attest to that. It's been hanging around you too much, Hole. Must be. It must it. be <laughs> contagious. No, we don't wish that upon anyone, but hopefully, Coggy, you will have a, a speedy recovery. Very crowded and condensed there. North do well there, good organisation in their defence. Very, very little options there from a rangeful perspective moving forward. Great to see plenty of comments. As we touched on in the first in the first half, we'd love to hear from you with your player of the match. So don't be afraid to vote for your player of the match and your young gun of the match as well tonight. We've got plenty of youngsters on display and we want to see the best player in the match and the best young player or best young talent tonight. Hey guys, my name's Jasper and I'm from Toowoomba Hockey. Did you know that the biggest sporting event in 2021 was the Olympic Games that were held in Tokyo? Hockey has been a part of the Olympics since 1908 and it's one of the main attractions at any of the Olympic Games. Now, I know this sounds really boring and you're probably looking at your teacher like, who's this guy? But in 2032, the Olympics will be going to Brisbane. Imagine having an Olympic Games that's just down the road. I know most of you are probably thinking, oh, I'm never going to be a part of an Olympic Games, but we've had nine people from Toowoomba compete for Australia at the Olympics. That means you could be lucky number 10. 
Hockey is a constantly growing sport and more and more people are deciding to give it a go in Toowoomba. Come and join the crowd. Here in Toowoomba we have a huge hockey culture. Players ranging from 5 all the way up to 85 compete for more than 100 teams across 5 different clubs. That means you can play, your siblings can play, your parents can play, even your teachers could give hockey a go. Probably don't want to, but they could if they did. So on Saturday the 19th of February, Toowoomba Hockey will be holding our annual Hockey Expo out at Club Glenvale from 12 until 3pm. This is one of the biggest events in Toowoomba's sporting calendar. There will be a jumping castle, fairy floss, sausage sizzle and heaps of fun activities. Each club will be out in force trying to recruit new players. <laughs> and welcome back to the final quarter here of the clash between North and Rangeville in the Bus Queensland A1 Hockey Championship for 2022. North currently leading two goals to nil over Rangeville. Holly, as I said in the, in the previous uh, couple of breaks, you're an up and coming emerging coach for Toowoomba Hockey. Uh, you're coaching Rangeville. What do you need to do to get back into this contest? 17 minutes to go. So Rangeville are currently thinking quite one dimensional when they're getting the play up in attack, they're not thinking a few plays in ahead to get people forward or into the right positions. So they need to start communicating a bit more, thinking ahead so that when they are getting those breakaways, they've got more than one option of what they can do with it. Absolutely, I think for me, I'd, I'd probably consider applying more pressure on the ball to the North's back four. They've been quite passive with their pressing. Uh, obviously, understandably so. They are worried about the, the aerial threat of some of the North's, um, North's players in the back four. But I think if they can apply more pressure up there, try and win the ball up higher. Um, Kane Bradford's obviously dangerous. Jack Hill's dangerous on a quick counter-attack. Um, their current pressing style probably more suited to not conceding goals rather than scoring. And considering they're already behind by two, might be time for a change. Yeah, I think I think it kind of leads to a, a counter attack over a you know twenty or thirty forty meter break. But I think Norths have just got so much experience now; they'll set up their defence to try and repel any quick counter attack. So might have to try a different tactic, but we'll see we'll see how they go. We've we've moved Carl Harlan back into the defence. So a few little personnel changes so far. Great to see plenty of comments down below. We've got uh, Dave Hilton joining in from, from Melbourne. Great to see you tuning in and a great shout. Matt Tarlington, obviously two goals tonight. He's been good. Definitely a, a young player to watch. Will Scorers nominated Will Suey. And he, he has been good probably for the young gun and player of the match, to be honest. Very, very strong. And Greggy Dean's a big fan of the umpires. He said very well officiated, free-flowing, and, uh, and only managed the game when, when required. It's great to see the umpires doing a great job tonight. Cal McCurley out on the ball now. Back and around they go. Carl Harlan. Or lose first touch, but get away with it. Shawnee Collins will pick that one up. Back to Cal on the left. Harlan, great ball to Collins. Space now. Bradford now on the ball. Throws it forward. Been a great interception there. Norse now. Looking to counter-attack, but Harlan well intercepted. He throws it forward. Bradford now picks the ball up. Gets a touch. Up off the goalkeeper. They're forced a short corner. Good response there from Rangeville.
So Carl Harland here. Looks like he's setting up for a flick. Only the one battery offered at the moment. Bradford to inject. McCurley alt to trap. Harland on the flick. Hill on the left. Jack Hill on the left. Kai Hill on the right, I should say. Harlan with the flick, and Harlan with the goal! <laughs> Two goals to one here, 12 minutes to go. Things are heating up, Hull. Got a bit of a contest on our hands. That's what we want. We want competitive, close games. Obviously had a little bit of a blowout in the first game tonight. Six goals to one, but red lines are pretty, pretty dominant. But Newtown have missing a few players and, and certainly uh, will keep building, but this one's a great contest. It is, we've seen some good attacking options from both teams up until this point. Yeah, Will Suey now. Jimmy, Jimmy Cutler put in a bit of a tangle there, I think, <laughs> in the midfield, just got a bit, bit tangled and ended up kicking, kicking the ball. You see a goal on field two to North in the women. Got plenty of new players this year, Norts and the women. They do, they've got some returning players as well. Who are they, Hull? Uh, we've got the Jager twins coming back. Both Dimmy and Haley were strong competitors through the junior years, played a lot of A grade for North, so we see them back this year. I believe Lauren Money is returning this year as well after um, giving birth just recently. She's got a couple yeah. of young ones at home now too. Great to see to see um, new players returning to Toowoomba Hockey and we're, we're more than happy to welcome new players to Toowoomba Hockey Association, returning players or even players that haven't played for over 20 years. I actually received an email this week about a, a player that hasn't played hockey for 20 years that's interested in walking hockey <laughs> to get back into the game. So that's uh, wonderful news and uh, it is, it's not too late to sign up for a club. Get on board and, and join a club for 2022. Promises to be a great year for all, and uh, we'd love to welcome you to, to the big Toowoomba Hockey family. It's definitely a space in Toowoomba Hockey for anyone, regardless of age and ability level or injury level for some of us. <laughs> Jack Hill now working his way down the field on the left-hand pocket, but really strong defence from Norse, well played. Norse probably just lacking a little bit of composure. Their defence is solid, but the first pass out when they win the ball seems to be a, a turnover. And just inviting Rangel back into the contest now. Carl Harland has found Charlie Jensen in space. Charlie finds Kane, Kane Bradford. Kane goes hard into the circle. Scrappy contest there. Free hit to Rangeville. They've won the ball back again. Charlie Jensen's won a free hit. Takes it early. Ball spills into the circle, opportunity. Oh, a heavy contest. Hat on backwards, Lindsay's lost his hat. Heavy collision between two players, so. Free hit now to, to Norse and a yellow card to a range of player there, so he'll be off for the next five minutes. Just when uh, Rangel was starting to get back into the contest and forming a bit of pressure, that, that yellow card will be, be costly for them. Down to 10 players now, so Norse looking to capitalise on the extra player.
So Norths, when they're in possession, will be looking to try and really utilise width and depth to try and stretch the, the Rangeville defence out and, and create overloads with their additional number. And from a Rangeville perspective, you'll see them probably trying to defend very narrow and, and try and protect the middle of the field. Carl Harlan now pushing up. Being a little bit more adventurous, higher up the field. Three hits to Norths. And up on field two appears to be a goal to Rangeville. So they look to be uh, leading, leading Norths in that clash. I think three or four goals to one? I believe it's four to one that, we, that we've okay. seen at least. We'll endeavour to get a, a report from up on field two and see if we can get an accurate score up there. So we can see Ranger with a narrow press here. The Rangel in their back pocket, working it out. Kane Bradford now unable to control that. Chris Glass just subbed himself on here for the last little period of the game. Not a bad substitute to get out and control the game. Again, setting their counter attack protection up. Just holding, holding two guys deep, protecting the middle. One of their defensive midfielders just in front of them. Rangeville, as expected, defending quite deep with a, ma a man down. Inside out, inside first. Mark inside first. Darren's got to work back. Darren's got to work back here. Darren has to go. Norse in the circle. Ben Edwards just lost control of that one. Carl Harlan just forced that one, inviting pressure, but Blake Regan unable to capitalise. Jack Hill. Smashes that across the face of the, sorry, across the field, I should say, but Charlie Jensen unable to control that one. Chris Glass now on the ball. Uses all experience, just takes a bit of a few seconds, gets the ball under control, throws it down to the right hand side of the field. Chris Glass to Cardamog. All the way over to Chop Suey. He's been good tonight, Chop. He has been. I think he'd probably be my player of the match for this game. On the live stream, you don't always get to see all the work that a player does off the ball, but he's been pivotal in calling and directing a lot of repositioning to help out his team, both attack and defence as well. Absolutely. And don't be afraid to, to leave a comment down below with your player of the match and young gun of the match. And we see Carter Mogg there, strong on the ball, wins a short corner for Norse. Some comments down below. We've got Katie Williams worried about her husband's hairline. <laughs> He's looking just fine to me, Katie. So Norse now with a short corner. And Rangel are back to a full strength side now as well. So this is pretty big in the, in the context of the game here. If Norse can put this away, it makes it very, very difficult for them to, uh, to get back into the contest if they can open up a two goal lead. And a flick and a goal. Good a ham. Flicks low and hard.
Just beat Mark Stevenson on his stick side. So three goals to one here, three minutes to go. Range will really need to, uh, to have a crack here. And that man will do it. Kane Bradford down the right-hand side of the field using his speed and his strength. Minchie Roberts takes his free hit on the right-hand side of the field. Two and a half minutes to go. Bradford driving down the right-hand side. Just takes a touch off a defender. It'll be a long corner. Jack Hill beats Suey. Throws it across. Paul Warhurst, Paul Warhurst does enough. Knocks it over the back line. Oh, loose pass, opportunity counter-attack, but just not able to control it, the Norse defenders. Tarlington does well, throws it forward to Goodaham. He's got a bit of speed. Plenty of Norse players streaming up to support. Great defending from Carl Harlan, but just as I say that, just trips him there, unfortunately, and gives away a short corner. Good speed, good strength from Goodaham bursting forward. So Norse here, 45 seconds to go. Good hand with the flick and good hand with the goal. Too much power on that one. Actually, no, hang on. So umpires have deemed that that particular ball was missing the goal and struck a defender high. So dangerous, my apologies. Still three goals to one here, 20 seconds to go. Roberts finds McKelly Alt, wins a free hit. McKelly Alt to Bradford. Good tackle from Carter Mogg though. Great tackle. Bradford's chasing hard. And well done to Norse taking out tonight's game. Three goals to one. Play with the match from you, Hall. I think I'm going to have to yeah, stick it. with uh, yeah, Will oh, Sui okay. there. Didn't do anything too flashy, but he was very solid. Did exactly what was asked for him for his team. Yeah. Great work both on and off the ball. Absolutely. Plenty, plenty of contenders there tonight. So don't be afraid to leave a comment down below with your player of the match. And we'll be back next week for our A1 clash on Friday night so make sure you tune in if you can in Toowoomba come out and support the game we'd love to see you here at Club Glendale but if you're not here tune in to the live stream and we'll see you then thanks guys